This is Dr. Amar Venke from Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering Department, KIT's College of Engineering, Kolhapur. Welcome to the course uh, Automotive Electronics. So, today we are going to see the what is IC powertrain and what are the IC engines. These are the broad objectives of this particular course that is Automotive Electronics. Automotive basics, EV mechanism and subsystems, sensors and actuators used in automotive, automotive safety standards, vehicle onboard and offboard diagnostic systems. Then the unit number one is IC powertrain, and today we are going to see the operation of IC powertrain and IC engine. The objectives are understanding the importance and need of IC powertrain, study of engine types and their operation and operation of IC engine components and its operation. So, this is the outline of uh, today's lecture. Uh, what is IC powertrain? Definition and introduction. Uh, what is IC engine? Importance of IC engine, working of IC engine and the four stroke engine cycle. So, what is IC powertrain? So, what is the definition of IC powertrain? The powertrain is a system components that transfer energy from engine to the wheels to make a car move. So, IC powertrain plays crucial role for uh, moving a car. So, this is introduction of IC powertrain. The powertrain system is a crucial component of any vehicle uh, because uh, it moves your car responsible for transferring the power from the engine into the wheels. Therefore, it is called as powertrain. Whatever power generated by the IC engine that is transferred towards the wheels. An IC engine is a machine that transforms the energy released from the combustion of fuel into mechanical energy. The motion of the piston is then converted into rotary motion uh, because initially you are getting the linear motion that is converted into uh, rotary motion by a crankshaft which can be used to drive a wide range of machines and vehicles. Then IC engines comes in different types, spark ignition engines that is called as SI, combustion ignition engines that is called as CI, then rotary engines and Wankel engines. Uh, mostly SI and CI engines are commonly used in the vehicles. Now, what is IC engine? The full form of IC engine is internal combustion engine. The combustion of fuel occurs uh, inside the engine's cylinders, uh, where the mixture of air and fuel is ignited, creating a high pressure gases that push a piston. Uh, how this will occur that we are going to see in the next successive slides. Then IC engines, they are universally accepted. Uh, if you see the vehicles all over the world, uh, in each vehicle, uh, there is a IC engine. Uh, no doubt, today's uh, vehicles, they are having uh, electric motors, but till date, uh, there is a IC engine uh, in the vehicles. Okay. Uh, they are widely used due to their uh, high power to weight ratio, uh, ease of use uh, and adaptability uh, to a range of fuels uh, that is uh, we can use gasoline, diesel and natural gases. Therefore, we are calling it as a range of fuels. Then over the years, IC engines uh, have undergone significant technological advancements. Uh, improving their efficiency. So, day by day the efficiency is increasing. 
uh, reducing the emissions. Uh, if you see the today's vehicles, then emission is very, very less uh, from the tailpipe and increasing their power output. So, these are the features of IC engine. Then, despite the arrival of electric vehicles and alternative energy sources, the IC engine remains a critical component of the global energy landscape. Its future will likely be shaped by the ongoing quest for clean and sustainable energy solutions as well as advances in technology that allow for improved performance and efficiency. Then working of IC engine. An IC engine is a heat engine that converts chemical energy stored in the fuel into mechanical energy. So, basically it is converting chemical energy into mechanical energy. How that we are going to see? It is used in vehicles, generators and various other applications. The detail working we are going to see from the next slide. So, IC engine basically the operation is divided into four parts that is called as four stroke. So, IC engine is nothing but it is a four stroke engine. The first stroke is called as intake stroke. It is called as intake stroke because uh, if you see the uh, design of the engine, then uh, it has inlet wall and outlet wall or we can say exhaust wall. So, initially air and fuel is taken uh, inside the cylinder. So, this is the piston. So, piston is moving down and the air and fuel mixture is taken inside. So, in this operation the inlet wall is open and we are taking air and fuel inside the cylinder. Therefore, this is called as intake stroke. Uh, once the air and fuel is taken inside the cylinder, then the piston is moving in upward direction that is compressing the air and fuel mixture. Therefore, this particular stroke is called as compression stroke. Here, uh, air and fuel mixture is compressed and both inlet and exhaust walls they are closed. Then third stroke is called as power stroke. Uh, in this particular stroke, the air fuel mixture is ignited by a spark plug. So, spark plug is activated uh, whenever the air fuel mixture is compressed and the mixture is ignited. Causing an explosion uh, that forces the piston to move downward. So, due to the explosion inside the cylinder as we have compressed air and fuel mixture, the high amount of pressure is created in downward direction. Therefore, the piston is forced in downward direction. So, this downward motion of the piston is the source of mechanical energy. So, in this way, the mechanical energy is created in this particular stroke. Therefore, this stroke is called as power stroke. So, here is the operation of power stroke. So, at the uh, left hand side diagram, the air fuel mixture is compressed. Uh, it is shown by yellow color and both the walls they are closed. So, air fuel mixture is compressed and in the right hand side diagram, the spark plug is ignited and the air fuel mixture is burned, it will generate the high amount of pressure in downward direction. Therefore, piston is forced in downward direction. 
in the right hand side diagram. So, this is called as a power stroke. Then exhaust stroke. So, in this particular stroke, the whatever burnt gases are there inside the cylinder, those are taken outside. So, here the exhaust wall is open and whatever burnt gases are there inside the cylinder, those are taken outside and therefore, this is called as exhaust stroke. So, in this particular stroke, the piston is moving in upward direction, pushing the burnt gases outside the cylinder via exhaust. So, there is a question in the reflection spot. The above four strokes collectively form a cycle uh, known as the four stroke cycle, which is used in most modern IC engines. Some engines, however, use a two stroke cycle, uh, which involves only two strokes, that is the compression stroke and the power stroke. Uh, just pause the video and think on how many strokes are there in any four wheeler vehicle. Pause the video and think on the question. The answer is four strokes. So, any four wheeler IC engine, they are having a four stroke engine. You might have thought on uh, various strokes uh, such as uh, single stroke, two stroke and four stroke engines, etc. But the correct answer is four stroke. Uh, any four wheeler vehicle consists of either SI or CI engine and these engines are having four strokes as explained earlier that is having intake stroke, compression stroke, power stroke and exhaust stroke. So, summary of the today's lecture, uh, most of the vehicle uses four stroke engine for its operation. The main function of the four stroke engine is to convert chemical energy into the mechanical energy. To summarize the lecture, any four wheeler vehicle uh, which has either SI or CI engine uh, have four strokes to convert chemical energy to mechanical energy. Uh, which is then coupled to the wheels of a uh, any four wheeler car and it starts moving. So, this is the end of uh, lesson 1. You are going to learn the classification of IC engines, then method of ignition, number of strokes, type of fuel and arrangement of cylinders in lesson number 2. Thank you very much.